Prednisone is one of the most widely used medications in chronic illnesses, especially for autoimmune diseases. If you're already taking prednisone or you're about to start taking prednisone, then you need to watch this. I have a love-hate relationship with steroids, especially prednisone. There are variations of steroids, such as prednisone, methylprednisolone, dexamethasone, and hydrocortisone. And rheumatologists such as myself, we usually default to prednisone, but sometimes we may give the other steroids as well. And these steroids have different dosages and ratios to prednisone. In this video, we're not going to talk about the nuances of the different steroids, but just know that there are a wide variety of them out there and they can potentially cause side effects. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the side effects of steroids, especially prednisone, that you need to be aware of. Now, your doctor may not be able to go over every single side effect with you before they prescribe steroids, so I'm here to do that today. Before we continue, I would encourage you to watch to the end of this video and comment below what your experience with steroids are and what kind of steroid you're taking. And if you like this video, it will help spread awareness of this information to people that need it the most. So as I said earlier, prednisone and steroids do have side effects and there are short-term side effects and long-term side effects. And the longer that you're on steroids, the higher the chance that you can get more side effects. It's really not my favorite drug or medication to prescribe patients, but rheumatologists such as myself we do use it to control an autoimmune attack and flare quickly. If I do give it to patients, I do try to limit the number of days I do prescribe these medications. However, I've seen patients be on these medications for a very long time, even for three, four years, because the doctor couldn't get their disease under control. Let's now start to talk about the short-term side effects of prednisone and the long-term side effects of prednisone. Number one short-term side effect of prednisone is an increased appetite and weight gain. Now, some patients may not experience any side effects at all, but in the short term, if you're taking it for seven days, sometimes even just one day or a little bit longer, you can experience these side effects. Um, some patients say their appetites get suppressed, but I've seen more of increased appetite more than decreased appetite. Number two, Fluid retention. So some patients may experience bloating and swelling when they get on steroids, and that does happen to some of my patients. Number three, mood changes. Now, this can happen with just a couple days of steroid use. So patients get really irritable, they get angry, and some even experience anxiety and depression. Please be aware that mood changes can happen when on prednisone. Number four is insomnia. I mean, this does happen with short-term and long-term use. So patients can have fluctuating sleep. Sometimes patients get broken sleep, they have trouble falling asleep, or they wake up way too early. So that is another thing that happens with prednisone use. Increased blood sugar does happen short term as well. Well, of course, if you're using it long term, it will have increased blood sugar for a very long time also. And number six are GI issues. Now the stomach can hurt. Some patients get heartburn. They can get GI pain as well. Sometimes ulcers can develop with longer use. So be aware that GI side effects can happen as well. And number seven for short-term use is increased risk of infections. Now, this is less compared to long-term use, but when you do use steroids and prednisone, it does suppress the immune system. So be aware that there is an increased risk to infections. Okay, let's move on to the long-term side effects of prednisone use. Long-term side effect number one is osteoporosis. And you know, osteoporosis is thinning of the bones, and that usually happens to older individuals, especially postmenopausal women above age 50, because you do need estrogen to keep the bones strong. However, with long-term use of steroids, it can happen in younger individuals, in men and women, and I've seen Patients as young as 30 get osteoporosis at a very young age, unfortunately. And sometimes patients do need osteoporosis medications. Stopping steroids is another potential way to slow down 
thinning of the bones, but definitely don't stop it without talking to your doctors. Long-term side effect number two is muscle weakness, also known as steroid myopathy. When you use steroids for a very long time, it can weaken the muscles. One of the ways to prevent this from happening or actually stopping this from occurring it's just to stop using the steroids once you get this steroid myopathy. Now, when you get this muscle weakness, rheumatologists such as myself, we're gonna start seeing other diseases such as myositis or is there some other disease going on that's causing the muscle weakness. But sometimes it's just due to steroid myopathy. So, so stopping the steroids, talking to your doctor will resolve the issue over time. Number three is visual problems, cataracts and glaucoma. So if you start seeing visual problems, Things don't look the same, they're more fuzzy, more gray. Definitely talk to your ophthalmologist because you want to get that checked out because it might be to long-term use of steroids. All right, long-term use number four. This is the one that I think I want to spend a little bit of time on because I think it's one of the more important ones and that's adrenal suppression. So why do you think that when you're on steroids for a very long time, for months and years, or even two months, why do you think your doctor tells you don't stop it cold turkey or don't stop it without telling the doctor. Well, it's because your adrenal glands produce steroids. And if you're taking outside steroids into the body, your own adrenal glands aren't making as much steroids anymore. So you're relying on outside steroids from the medications coming in. So what happens if we do stop steroids all of a sudden when you've been taking it for months and years? Well, you need steroids to get your blood pressure up. So if you just stop all of a sudden on the steroids, you can end up in the ER and, and being hospitalized because your blood pressure will just drop to probably a dangerous level and that does require hospitalization because your body isn't keeping up the blood pressure because there's no steroids at all because your body has been relying on steroids for months and years and you also just stopped it. So that's why it's important to taper down the steroids instead of just stopping it outright. Side effect number five is skin changes. So Patients can get skin change, thinning of the skin, easy bruising, or even stretch marks from years of steroid use. High blood pressure, which is number six on my list, can happen with steroid use for a very long time. So sometimes doctors will prescribe blood pressure medications, or if you're able to lower the steroid medication, that would help. And of course, number seven, we talked about this in the short term side effects, and that's increased risk of infections. Now we also talked in the short-term side effect era or area uh, about the bloating and um, the edema or the fluid retention. Well, patients, when they get weight gain, they can also get something called moon facies where their face gets bigger from a lot of fluid retention from weight gain as well. And so does the abdomen. So those are things to be aware of. I know it's very hard sometimes to be on steroids and it's very, especially very hard to come off when you've been on it for years. So it's important to work with your doctor to come with a strategy on how to come off the steroids. And I do tell my patients, look, is it better to be on long-term steroids or to be on medications that can control the disease but get you off steroids? And if I were a patient and I had an option and I needed one of them, I'll probably opt for the medication use um, if I it was just steroids or the biologics, uh, the immune suppressing medications, because at least you don't get all the side effects from long term steroid use. And at least the biologics and some of those other medications, you know, sometimes patients don't experience any side effects at all. I've seen that before. But every patient's different. And of course, you have the integrative options as well, which we sort of touched upon in the past videos. And I'll be talking more and more about integrative options testing in the future. So I don't want to scare you about steroids. Using it for a short period of time is fine, but using it long term, you know, it's only if there's no other options. Um, so definitely work with a doctor. I've been wanting to put this video out for a while now because steroids can sound very scary and they don't have to be um, if they're used in the right context. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment below, and subscribe to this channel. And of course, if you want to reach me and see me as a doctor or want to work with me, please look at the description below. I've mentioned before, I have a prior practice called Dr. Lifestyle, 
and I'm also a medical director of an integrative rheumatology virtual only practice called Remission. So you can reach me through either platform as a patient. But in Dr. Lifestyle, I do work much more closely with my patients This, since it is my private practice and I have multiple state licenses where I can see patients virtually and in person in California. All right, see you next time.